All right, guys, here is my happy mail from Hubman and Chup Girl. Got a nice pen because I like lemonade theme. A thank you card. This big boy. And sleeves. Which regular sleeves. Let's get this out of the way. Let's open up the big boy. This is their journal buddy. Their new the journal buddy XL. Okay. Let's open it up. Get the straggly strings off. Comes with Eliminate shaker charm. <clears throat> Ooh, hangs off. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's got scratches. Oh no no no, that's not scratches. Haha. Uh -huh. It's a film over it. It's a film protector. I'm sure it's a film. That's what's on most of their stuff. Is a film protector. So it's protected from said scratches. See, no scratches. We do the same on this side. Can't get it off. Struggling. There we go. Kind of regret taking them off because when you take them off, then they really can get scratched. Check that out. That is so neat. The shakers okay that's cute it's huge too bigger than i thought and this is the new xl so we can see how much space is in it this is the strap that goes with it all right so for size comparison i'm gonna lay it down get this stuff out of the way lay it down this is the XL let me get my stuff out of the other one yes. and this is the original how big it is all right so what I can fit in here is this I'm gonna use my regular one that I have that's busting it can no longer I mean I could fit one more in there I'm sure I can fit a mini in here. Okay, yep, and that's that's it. Not fitting anything else in there comfortably. Okay. Well, I might. This journal is not from nope, it don't fit. But this journal is from Michaels. And I can fit one of these in here. This is a binder. You cannot fit a binder in. Okay, we've already known that. And I think you can fit one more of these in here okay so you can fit three and a mini that's full of stuff and then you have these pockets that you can fit everything in and pockets you can put stuff in and your pens which you can put on and fit stuff in okay so that's what this one can do it can hold a good bit now let's see about this XL it is very large as you can see way larger okay we're going to put a binder. We're going to put that binder is not full, by the way. It only has three sleeves in it. This one has, I think, 12. Another binder in here. And then I have this one, I think, also has 12. I'm going to put that binder in here. Let's see. I have. I'm not taking out the plastic because it's too nice. A a5 wide that I'm going to stick in here and you have here here so plenty of room here oh, I still have room I still have room guys here's another a5 I'm gonna stick it in on this side what reminder this one does not have everything in it okay so I think something else let's see what else I can fit in here let's see if my regular one no cannot but 
we see we can get three binders and an A5 wide. Now let's clasp it shut. I don't know if that'll work. No, it will not clasp. So one of these has got to come out. <laughs> it's not going to clasp. Ah, there we go. Yep. Snap. It is not snapping. There you go. And there you have it. Everything fits, and there's still there's still room. Like you can shove stuff in here. You can shove stuff on this side. All this room to shove stuff. You have room here to put your pins, your washi. That. Okay, I'm gonna take these binders off. I mean. So I'm not probably going to be using binders, so let's pack it how I would normally pack it. My binders are going to stay at home. And I'm not currently using A5 wide right now, so I will be using that. But this is what I would use. So I'm putting my regular journal in here, so we've got enough, plenty of room for that. This is my sticker books that I have. This is how my current journal buddy would be packed. My sketchbook. This is my personal journal. I don't take it anywhere, so we're not going to pack it. And then my reading one, just in case I read. And then I'm going to clasp it. Let's see, and if I'm writing, let me just pick two Tom Bows. Stick in there. I'm gonna get me my one jelly roll pin. I'll stick in there and my um pin tail, my inner gel. I use it. And I, I still have room. I mean technically you can make a zipper out of this and it would work. But yeah, check that out guys. There's still there's still plenty of room to put a phone. Let's see, I haven't put a phone. Let's see, let's put a ruler in. Um, I'm trying to think, what else could I put in here? I mean, if you have scissors, I guess. You put your scissors in here. Um, I'm at a colorful pen just because. And if you want to put your washies in there, you put your washies in there, post-it notes. I'm gonna put a post-it note in there. Um, oh, let me try this. This is my sprocket. I'm gonna print. Ah, there we go. And my charging block from my sprocket. I'm gonna fit that in there. Uh, let's get some regular brush pens. Just grab a handful. And just boom, on the other side. And of course you put your pens on the outside. Guys, I still have room. I still have room. I still have room to put stuff, but your phone fits. Um, phone can fit in here as well, but it doesn't have a clasp. But it can fit in there. But, see, so you can fit it right there. There you go. Um, maybe I can put a 5 wide in here. On top of everything else. Let's just try it, just to see if it'll fit. Uh, let's put it on this side. Eh. There you go. You have it. And let's put my shaker on. See if I can get it off. There we go. Not the fanciest with these like fine motor skill deals. There you go. Ooh. Check that out. Yeah, I like this one way better. This one's a cute one. Don't get me wrong. I still like the back with the canvas. And you can get A5, you can get your planner in here. You can get your dot grid, sticker books. I get a sketchbook in here, my reading journal, a couple of pens. Ruler stuck in here, sprocket, charging battery, phone, 
markers. It's huge. It's huge. It's perfect. Excuse me, it's perfect.